Hello my friends, William Poloniak here at Whole Health Foundation. At the market today, these were advertised as black grapes on sale, so I'm going to make some grape juice. Let's take a look. The first thing I want to point out is that I'm using the front-loading feed tube, which is an exclusive invention of Whole Health Foundation, and this front-loading feed tube has two purposes. One, it eliminates blowback 100%. You'll never get blowback up to your ceiling. And also you can see inside to see what is being shred and how it's being shred. So let's put the cutter on. And then I'm going to feed in some ice cubes. I'm going to collect pulp in these wide mouth jars. There's about two servings full uh, that will fit into two juice cloths in each jar. We'll fill it to the top, but first we'll put in some ice cubes to cool down the cutter. Now another good tip is to go down only halfway. And remember to always keep this covered because things like cantaloupe and grapes are very, very liquid and it will spit back. Now I keep two cloths in the freezer for grapes and actually I keep two cloths of every kind of fruit in the freezer. Apples, strawberries and so on. And the reason I do that is germs and airborne contaminants cannot grow in the freezer. Now this is very, very important. Whenever you do fruit, such as grapes, cantaloupes, apple juice, you need to use a bamboo liner to line your cloth because fruit pulp will stick to your cloth. And after cleaning the feed tube, we're going to assemble that first. And I notice that I didn't clean the back, the back plate, so we'll do that now. sponge down here to collect the water when we spray it off. Now you can use a damp cloth or a spray nozzle like I'm doing. Now I've already cleaned the feed tube so we'll reassemble and the cutter goes on top with the hole down. You never, never leave the cutter on the motor shaft and you must also oil the motor shaft and the inside of the cutter every week or so. So I have a bamboo liner here. I'm going to pour about half of this container In. That's about right. This is very important. Center the cloths left to right, center them front to back, all the way back, and back it off a little bit. Now we have some liquid in here, so we'll pour that into the collection bowl. And as soon as you have juice, we'll advance that all the way. Now because of the Whole Health Foundation's bottom base plate, which has a lifetime warranty, you can leave this press up as long as you like, 30 seconds, a minute or more. I leave it up until you get droplets instead of a steady flow. Now this is very important, never throw away your pulp. Now I can see my cloths burst at the corners a bit, that's not unusual with things like grapes and cantaloupe. So unfold the bamboo and you can see that the grape pulp is already very very dry and we'll pour in more of this grape pulp, about half a container fold the cloth, the bamboo cloth over the grape pulp again, fold the cloth over the bamboo liner and then fold the cloth into thirds like so and again, you do not throw away the bamboo liner or the pulp. You're going to open the bamboo liner up and put new pulp on top of the already pressed pulp. Okay. Fold that over in both directions. Do your best to have it not spill out and then fold the cloth over the bamboo liner. 
Now I'm going to use a special folding technique here. I'm going to fold this under like so. That's going to mend my slippage. And we'll put it in the tray again and press. Again, very important. Centered left to right, centered front to back, adjust if need be, all the way back, back it off, turn on the machine. And when you get juice flow, advance that all the way. Now here's another tip for fruit and anything slippery, I should probably have advanced that a little bit at a time instead of all at once. There is a tendency for the cloths to slip apart. We got lucky this time. So leave it up as long as you like. Now the bamboo liners are doing a pretty good job. They do burst at the corners with very liquid stuff like grapes, cantaloupe and so on. Even apple juice or apple pulp can open up at the corners that is. So we'll put in about half of this container. That's about right. Fold that over in thirds. Now we do have a little bit of breakage at the corners, but it's minimizing cleanup. You, you don't want that all over your cloth. So let's do the special folding technique again, where we fold it under, and that's going to minimize slippage. Turn it upside down, set it aside, and here's the last of our grape pulp. Fold it under, turn it upside down, and then into the press. Now this time, we're centering it left to right, front to back. This time I'm going to go back very slowly. And after you get juiceful, we'll advance that a little bit more, but not a lot. Might as well pour this in there, there's not much. Advance a little bit more. There we have droplets, we'll back that off. Now, again, even at the end, you don't throw away the pulp. I'm going to show you how to get 10% more juice. And what I'm going to do with this spent pulp. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to put both of these together along with any pulp that came out of the corners. If I can get it off of here. And I'm going to fold this into a very very tight package. Let's get this great pulp that came out of the corners of the cloths first. And fold it into a very, very tight bowl. I'm going to fold it to minimize any breakage. Now I'll put that in the center. We'll use that special folding technique again, but this time I'm going to fold it under in both directions. Two or three or four times. There's two, three, for as tight a package as you can make. The tighter the better. And let's fold this under again. Now, turn it upside down, flatten it, and I'm going to put it in the press. Now there we have five ounces. That's more than 10%. We've got 48 ounces here, five ounces here. A little more than 10%. Now we'll pour this into this container and we'll pour them into bottles. From this batch of juice, it looks like we're getting three and a half bottles. Three and two thirds bottles and enough for a taste test. So I'm going to cap these off and then we'll do the taste test. Well my friends, here we have pure grape juice. So let's give it a taste test. Oh, very sweet, very delicious. However, I want to point out one thing for you that's a very valuable piece of knowledge. If you're using grape juice for a fasting program, never drink full strength grape juice. Drink it 50%. One glass of grape juice or one bottle of grape juice will have enough sugar and enough energy to last you all day. So I'll take this half bottle Mixing it about 50%. Now we'll taste it again. A grape drink, very sweet, still, very delicious, 
but about 50% of the sugar, and remember if you're on a fasting program, mix it 50% with water. If you're using it as a meal substitute or a refreshment during the day, full strength is okay. Well, I hope you like what you've seen, my friends. If you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust.cox.net. And my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video.